All right, welcome back to the channel. Captain Steve Pope here from Kansas City, Kansas Fire Department and the First Responder Golf Foundation. And you're here at this channel, Firefighter Golf. So out here at Whirlwind Golf Club in Phoenix, Arizona, the cattail course. I'm gonna showcase this for you today. I'm out here with one of our firefighters from Kansas City, Kansas, Brian Melita. I brought him out here to network with the Next 18 organization. So we're doing a golf camp for three days while we're out here. So I'm looking forward to that and putting him through that because we do yoga, mindful reset, and we use golf, just like this foundation does. We're also playing with a Phoenix female firefighter, Nicole. Been on the job 22 years here in Phoenix, so played golf in college. So I'm gonna have her on some of the shots here. So I'm looking forward to showcasing this golf course and always bringing golf and how I use it to decompress. So I love you all, stay self-aware and uh, just get out there, use this game. Love it, take care. I didn't roll into the desert there. No, you're. You see that tree? Yeah. Just it's to the left just, of it. Just inside, or just to the left of it. Okay, good. Yeah, that's the line I had. There you're good. There you go. There you go. That's right, in it. And at about at 17 years, I my vision started getting bad again. You're over it, right? Uh, it it looked like it was gonna stay going left of it. We'll see when we get up there. Beach party maybe. <laughs> All right, Brian, we're saying about 119. 119. All right, it's a little downwind. Thank you. Look at that divot, folks. Take care of your cores. All right, folks, we're playing the gold-silver combo. It's like 6,500 yards. Uh, it's about what I play at at home, so I thought I'd uh, do that here. Do it, Steve. Come on, Nancy. Hit it with your purse. Hey! I'm sorry, that's not very DEI. Yeah. No, I I'm, I'm, don't have to worry. You just... Par 5, 489. Gold is up. Should be good. Yeah. It's good run, that low one. Nice All right, 207 yards. I'm gonna go with the five iron here. Ah. Clear that bunker, Elite. Nope. That's horrible, oh, folks. God. That's horrible. All right, don't you hate it when you're on the driving range and you your driving range pro went through the bag hit the, all the irons pretty good and then i get out here on the course except for that approach out with the wedge but a five iron i can't even get it past this bunker and be down here in this hollow so i'll show you here this is a, gonna be a hard bunker shot and right, here's what i got i got everything Thank you. Woo! Hit that little bump. It that did. was good up. I'll take it after being in that bunker. Yeah. Nice part. Thank you.
Alright, 132 yards today. Alright, 132 yards on this beautiful hole here. I got a pitching wedge, gonna swing easier with it. this bridge. I'll have to get that tunnel next time too. Still going, I got it going from here. Woo. Well, after I get to know you guys better, he's probably not going to want to ever film with me around. <laughs> he stroked the hedgehog. The old dead cat head hedgehog? Yeah, it's very soft. I got a pitching wedge. Just gonna swing easy today. I have no clue where it's at, folks. Beeping at you? Yeah. Every single hole, and then it punishes you by going like one mile an hour until you get. I didn't want to go that far right. You're good. That's in good Oh yeah, I'm good safe. safe. I good. definitely didn't want to go that far right. I was good. I was but clear that water. It's clearing the water. I just don't know if it's gonna clear the bunker. Couldn't tell. I can't tell either, but that was beautiful. My blind ass. All right, there's where my ball ended up. That's my look right here.
All right, we got about 135 yards. This pin is accessible today. Is that a word? She going. All right, saying 126, folks. We're counting on the downwind and the maybe 5% we talk about. And that roadrunner back there might get killed. <laughs> Pulled it, might have had some distance. I didn't see it hit. I didn't oh, wait, see it. yeah. Pressure got you. Sixty-two to this green. Into the wind, but I'm out here to have fun. Let's try to get up as close as we can. Thank you. We'll see when we get up there. Looks like about 44 yards left. Gotta go up and over this bunker a little bit. Three eighty two par four. You got a bunker right and a bunker left, and the one on the left's like two sixty four to get into it. What is wrong with this hole? <laughs> Brian did that too. Mine was I wasn't comfortable with this club. I should have just hit the driver because the wind was gusting. It's gonna lay up with a seven iron. Yeah, we all make mistakes. 198, got a five iron here. Into the wind. Woo. Well hit. Ah, I got some type of putt for par. Yeah. Got a little dust nato there if you can see it.
A little drop kick, it's gonna be pretty good. It's staying left side of the fairway. <coughs> nice. It will work. Missed you. I'll get you a yardage when the cart gets over here, but here's the look I have coming in. Got 117, wind's blowing the right a little bit. I got a 50 degree. I yanked it. Guys hitting into us from behind us. Wow, it does a couple different things. Hey, Brian, you hit that back to me. It's, they don't need to see that one. Nice five. Thank you. All right, thanks for watching part one out here at Whirlwind, the cattail course. Uh, pretty good front nine there. I was pleased with it. So even par. Oh my God. Uh, possibly could have been better, but that's golf. And um, so I'm, overall, I'm, I'm pleased with it. So it's wonderful been having Nicole out here from the Phoenix Fire Department. She's also going to be in the next 18 camp that we're going to. I don't know if I'm going to be able to video any of that because it's more about the golf and getting away and it might be nice not to have this camera but i might have my phone doing some stuff we'll see but anyway thanks for watching part uh, part one part two back nine out here at the cattail course at whirlwind coming soon